since I need it uh, to present to the king for his dinner later on, I need to do a little trade with my hawk so that I can actually put it in my bag and hunt her again. So this is what they would do, give her a tidbit and perhaps hunt some more. Now you can hear that she wears a, a bell on her tail, like all the birds uh, with a bell, and that's completely traditional, because of <laughs> when they're in the boat, um, it really helps to locate them, particularly if they have caught something and they're hiding up with it. But she's not going to give it up easily, and to give you an idea of the grip that she now has on it, it's estimated to be around six times that of a human adult grip. So squeeze as tightly as you can and then times that by six and it's about the sort of pressure that a hawk can exert through those very powerful feet. So now how am I going to unhook her from my quarry here? Well, as I say, I need to trade with her. I must never steal from her. So the first thing I'm going to do is to actually cover it over because when she can't see it anymore, she begins to forget what she's caught. <laughs> Apart from Percy's tail always sticks off. <laughs> and you can see she's mantling it and hold, holding on to it, you know, with some ferocity there. So now the hunter would naturally use a cheaper cut, but when she sees the other meat, her attention is turned to that, and so it helps us to lift her off the prey more easily so that we can bag our quarry, and you see she comes off much more easily. Thank you for taking us.